welcome back to do it yourself full range hi-fi speakers today i'm showing you my latest visiton fr10hm i bought three pair of these and the first two pair have already sold and this one i thought i will try to make a smaller desktop uh, form factor just for convenience and um, you know a large percentage of the sound comes from the face of the speaker so I thought well you know we'll give it three litres and then um, a little baffle and a horn so it's a backloaded horn similar to the others but I haven't got a longer port in this one just the cheap trick uh, horn and I move the horn around to the side which you can place either on the inside or the outside of the two speakers I think the outside is better I'm showing in the video later on uh, with the sound test um, I just wired them up around the other way with the fence on the inside but they still sound fantastic in my humble opinion uh, I think they're one of the best bang for buck um, speakers on the market. I think um, I saw them today for $17. I think I only paid about $13 Australian each for these, but they're going up. I think they're getting more popular. So demand is pushing the price up. So get in quick um, if you want these. Uh, so, I love the sound of these. I think they haven't suffered anything in downsizing from my previous builds. The front baffle is made, I think it's from Merbau. It, it's decking timber that my neighbour gave me when he demolished his back deck to make a new deck. And I've glued two pieces together vertically. You can see the join if you look hard. And the sides, top and bottom are maple, which is a beautiful golden colour. So I've named these my golden bloodhounds. And the back is just uh, 12 mil 5 ply. Um, I don't hold too much value in the appearance of the back, so a bit of plywood is fine, fine with me. Now here's a little sub I added. Uh, it was a 40 watt Yamaha powered sub with this little five inch driver, six inch, sorry, uh, uh, 50 watt amp uh, speaker driver. I put in um, a no name Taiwanese, really heavy, heavily made subwoofer that a friend had given me and it sounds awesome. So I've turned it to a, a passive subwoofer by ripping out the old amplifier. So that's what you can do with your old uh, powered amps if uh, they no longer serve you. Uh, run it off a 2.1 amp uh, as a passive, uh, which I'm doing here with 100 watts per channel, uh, 100 watts sub. On the first day of the journey, the traveler was prepared. Words of consolation were never heard. He didn't know where he was going, just a poem in his mind. And all the things he valued in life. Running for the money, running for the fame, lost where he was going and forgot his name.
promised land was waiting His vision led him on But only promises were waiting For the rest to come So he asked a band of travelers Who turned the other way And left him in the wilderness To face the day Running for the money, running for the fame, lost where he was born, forgot his name. He wandered through the desert. Where the land lay in waste He was guided by a blinding sun Which burned his face Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope you learned something. Uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, this year I'm going to be doing some house renovations. Uh, so probably won't be doing so much on speakers. My goal for speakers this year, at least, is to come up with a nice small form factor subwoofer to complement the full ranges. Uh, inexpensive, and but good for a desktop or small room application. That's my goal. So uh, if you want something to do, go to the community tab on my YouTube channel and answer the poll about your new year's resolution for speaker building let me know if you're interested in building anything ask me any questions in the comments and uh, happy new year and compliments of the season hope you're having a nice holiday at this time thank you and good luck